While exploring in EVE Online, you'll sooner or later happen across a wormhole. These mysterious holes in space can lead almost anywhere, including distant, mysterious systems far removed from normal space. While wormhole space can be dangerous, it can also be extremely lucrative for those capsuleers willing to brave the darkness. Wormholes are hidden cosmic signatures and can only be located through scanning, much like relic and data sites. If you need a refresher on scanning, check out the Scanning Basics video. Once you have a wormhole fully scanned, you can warp to it to find an ominous spherical portal in space. Before diving in, you should assess the hole to gather information, right-click and show info on the wormhole to bring up more details. This will bring up a panel which displays useful information about the hole, including where the wormhole leads to, such as a high, low or null security system. If this text mentions unknown parts of space, then it leads to a wormhole system outside of normal space. Wormhole systems are divided into six different classes, commonly known as C1 through C6. These represent the danger of the NPC sites and relative hostility of any environmental effects that you might encounter. When this text reads simply as unknown space, you know that this is a C1, C2 or C3 system. If you see dangerous unknown parts of space instead, then it's a C4 or C5, and deadly space refers to a class 6 system. Determining the exact class of a wormhole is a bit more difficult, as this involves relying on visual clues from the wormhole itself, or looking up the wormhole type out of game. In the centre of a wormhole, you can see the background nebulae of the system on the other side. Higher class wormholes appear darker and more red than lower class ones as a general rule, but more on that later. On the next line, you can get a rough idea of how long's left before this wormhole collapses, disappearing forever. If it reads end of life, then take care, as the wormhole will collapse sometime within the next four hours. The last two sections refer to the maximum size of ship, which can jump through that wormhole, and the total remaining mass. If enough large ships pass through the wormhole, then it will eventually collapse and sever the connection. Collapsing a wormhole by passing ships through it is commonly referred to as rolling. The visual appearance of the wormhole can give you additional clues as to its nature. In the centre of a wormhole, you can glimpse the sky on the other side. This can allow you to identify the specific class of wormhole system that you're looking at. Wormholes leading to Class 1 systems have grey clouds and black features. They are overall very muted in colour. Class 2 wormholes have a more brown hue, and are most easily identified by black cloud visible within a brighter grey cloud. Class 3 wormholes will again have a background of grey clouds, but you will notice bright red clouds visible among them. Class 4 wormholes have a distinct dark red colour, with contrasting bright white and dark black clouds. Class 5 holes are dark reddish brown, and appear somewhat more muted than their Class 4 counterparts. And lastly, Class 6 holes are a vibrant and violent mix of orange and reds. If the wormhole leads to known space, you can even identify the region it leads to by looking at the nebulas visible in the background. The wispy rings dancing at the edges of a wormhole also give you information at a glance about what ships can pass through it. A pure blue colour indicates it's a small wormhole through which only frigate-sized ships may pass. Teal indicates the wormhole is medium in size, allowing ships up to battle cruisers to pass through. Grey indicates a wormhole through which any subcapital ship can pass. And lastly, a yellow-gold colour indicates a massive wormhole through which even some capital ships and freighters may be able to travel. Now that we know almost everything there is to learn about this wormhole, it's time to venture inside. If you're feeling confident, right-click the wormhole and choose Enter Wormhole to pass through it. When you jump into a wormhole system, you'll find yourself far from home in a system represented by a J followed by a six-digit number, commonly referred to as a J-code. Notice that these systems have a negative one security value, meaning that you need to watch out for other capsuleers hidden in the darkness. Cloaking devices in wormholes are both commonplace and highly recommended. You may also notice an environmental effect in the wormhole, which can be seen above your capacitor. 
If you need more information about the wormhole itself, including the exact class of the wormhole, you can find out by checking Capsulear created Intel tools online. There are no Stargates or NPC stations in wormhole space. Navigating between systems is only possible by using a scanner, so be sure to right-click and bookmark your way home before venturing further in. Local chat in wormholes operates in delayed mode, meaning that you won't appear in the list of pilots unless you type in local. While you cannot directly see if other players are in the system with you, you can, however, use the directional scanner to search for ships within range that you should be aware of. The D-Scan menu can be opened by clicking the Scanners button next to the capacitor and clicking on the directional scanner. This will open the directional scan window and the system map. Because we'll be using D-Scan often, we can undock the directional scan window from the system map by clicking the Undock button. There's plenty to do in wormhole space, including some extremely profitable pirate faction data and relic sites. These can be found by scanning within class 1, 2 and 3 systems in unknown wormhole space, though be careful not to accidentally warp into a sleeper infested hacking site, if you value your ship that is. When you're ready to return from wormhole space, you can simply try to head straight back out the way you came. If you jump out within 5 minutes however, your ship will become polarised to that wormhole connection for 5 minutes since your first jump, preventing you from jumping back again for a short time. This isn't a problem most of the time, but don't let polarisation catch you off guard when you're on the run from a less than friendly player. Wormholes by their nature are transient pathways, and whether a connection collapsed from the mass of multiple ships passing through, or simply from its natural lifetime coming to an end, you might find that your way home is gone. This can be a scary experience, but it does not mean you're trapped, as long as you have your trusty probe scanner. Every wormhole system has one or more static wormholes, which originate within the system and lead to other areas of space. A class 2 wormhole system, for example, will always have at least one connection into wormhole space, and one back out to high sec, low sec or null sec. The types of statics will vary from system to system, but you can always find at least one new wormhole to follow. Understanding and utilising wormholes can be a great way to make ISK, or visit faraway places with just a few jumps. Some capsuleers even choose to set up a structure and live in wormhole space permanently. Whether you plan on staying a while or you're simply day tripping, knowing how to navigate wormholes safely is a valuable skill that will set you apart as a talented explorer in EVE Online.